Hello friends, in this session we are going to discuss about another lead code problem called count primes. You will be given an integer and find number of prime numbers which are less than the given input. Here is an example, the input is 10, the possible prime numbers below 10 are 2, 3, 5 and 7. So the count is 4. This problem looks like pretty straightforward. We all know what is prime number. but Routine way of finding prime number and returning back the count does not impress the interview panel. Now, we are going to discuss about an ancient algorithm, sieve of Eratosthenes, for finding all prime numbers up to any given limit. Let's understand the algorithm now. Here is the algorithm. This algorithm is all about eliminating non-prime numbers by iteratively marking as non-prime using multiples of each prime number. Confusing? No, it is so simple. Let's understand. We will take an example. Let's say our input is 31. We need to find how many prime numbers are there below 31. We are going to have multiple iterations to eliminate non-prime numbers. We will start with number 2 in the first iteration, which is a prime number. 2 is a prime number, but its square is not a prime number. 4 is not a prime number. Let's eliminate from 4. We will start from 4 and eliminate all multiples of 2. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28 and 30 are non-primes and marked for elimination. In the next iteration, the number is 3. It is a prime number. We will start eliminating numbers from 3 square, which is 9. 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and 30 are marked for non-prime numbers, which are marked for eliminations. In the next iteration, the number is 4. We will check is it marked for elimination in the previous iteration already. We will do this check in each iteration. If you notice here, it is already marked for elimination. In case if it is already marked, then it is not a prime number and continue with next iteration. Also, if you notice here, 4 is family of number 2. What I mean here, all the numbers, all the multiples of 4 are already part of all the multiples of 2 here. That means, which is marked in the previous iteration itself. So, to avoid duplicate efforts, we will move to next iteration. In the next iteration, the number is 5. If you notice here, it is not marked here. That means it is a prime number. Let's start with 5 square, which is 25. We'll eliminate this. Next number is 30, which is already marked. In the next iteration, the number is 6 and its square is 36, which is beyond the input limits. Our input itself 31. So we are done with our iterations and marking elimination process. Now the numbers which are left over here are the prime numbers. Exclude 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23 and 29 are prime numbers. And the count is 10. Just written 10 back. That is the expected answer. Let's review the algorithm once again. All we do here is we want to iterate over the numbers till the limit. The limit is input here. Now in each iteration, what we will do, we will take the prime number and we will start eliminating numbers from square of the prime number. Why square of the prime number? Square of the prime number cannot be a prime number, right? So we'll start eliminating from square of the prime number and all multiples of the prime number, right? We will continue doing this in each iteration. In case any number is not prime number, then we will continue with next iteration. How do we know given number is prime number or not? 
in case that number is already marked for example 4 in this case which is already marked in the previous iteration we will consider this as non prime number in case it is not marked already we will consider that as a prime number 3 was not marked for elimination in the previous iteration so we consider 3 as prime number and we will continue doing it till the loops get broken and finally whatever numbers left over excluding one rest all the prime numbers count them and return the value hope you understood the algorithm now let's write the code let's create a static function called count primes it should take an integer input and return an integer declare a variable to store the result validate the input return 0 if the input is less than 2 declare a primitive int array to keep track of the prime numbers by default this array will be filled with default zeros here initially we assume that any index in the array has 0 means it is a prime number if it has 1 means it is not a prime number you can also take a boolean array and fill with true values by default but in order to avoid this filling process with true values i have taken this primitive int array so that we can manage with default zero values now let's take for loop to identify prime numbers the i value should begin with prime number 2 the exit condition is always square of i now verify that the number is already marked for elimination or not if it is already marked then it is not a prime number and continue with next iteration so let's check double equal to zero means it is a prime number let's use for loop inside to eliminate non prime numbers as discussed j value must be always start with square of i value j value will be incremented by i steps in each iteration inside this array mark the numbers as non prime numbers that means respective index must be marked with value 1 with this the elimination process is done now let's count the leftover numbers in the array now iterate over each prime array and count the prime numbers we will start with 2 2 is a prime number and we will exclude 1 number 1 verify the current value of each prime is 0 or not increment the result if it is 0 finally return the result number of prime numbers we are done with coding i have already written the main method and uncomment this piece of code calling count prime function with different values as input let's run here is the result and it is as expected hope you like the video thanks for watching please do like the video and do subscribe to the channel thank you